Welcome to the Jungus Games update vlog for November 2021. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff I'll be talking about today, in particular, a big change to the Good Games vlog. Now, before we go into all that, I would like to mention that if you prefer to listen to a podcast audio version of this vlog, then you can gain exclusive access to that by supporting the channel's Patreon campaign at any level. You can learn more about that by going to patreon.com slash Uh Now, on that note, I think let's start talking about these updates, and we'll start with a brief Patreon campaign update. There were 12 new people who joined into the campaign over the last month, so that's just awesome to see, so a big thanks to all the new people supporting the channel, as well as the hundreds of other people who are continuing to support the channel through the Patreon campaign. Now, at this point, let's go into general updates, and Patreon's going to come up a couple times as we're going through these. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is probably the biggest, and that is a big change to the Good Games vlog. Uh, I mentioned in last month's vlog that I was a bit disappointed by how well those vlogs were doing. It seems like as time went on, less and less people were watching those. Um, you know, hundreds of people still watch them, depending on the games talked about. It would, you know, get into the thousands which was really great to see. But um, compared to the other videos that I put out, the Good Games vlog was just not doing as well. And that was definitely impacting my interest in making them. Uh, and I do like having some subjective opinions happen on this channel. I've uh, That's been a cornerstone of the channel since the very first video I put out. And that's especially been the case since I stopped making reviews. Um, now, the change that I'm going to be doing right now is I'm actually going to be turning the Good Games vlog into a Patreon exclusive, and I'm going to be changing it around a little bit. It's no longer going to be a Good Games vlog. Instead, it's going to be a lot more like the old Impressions vlog, where I'm going to try to talk about all of the games that I'm playing. Um, not just the new games, but also old games, and also not just the games that I am enjoying playing. Uh, I've already made one episode where I talked about nine different games, including uh, Golem, which I've played a couple of times recently, and then uh, some other new stuff, and I also talked about some older games that I played many times, and I just wanted to give an update about where I was at, and that's my feeling for where I want to take this in the future. Um, for the next month, that is going to be available to everyone who supports the Patreon campaign, and I'm hoping to do more of those throughout the month. Um, the idea is that as I play games, I will talk about them. Uh, maybe I play a game once and I just talk about that one game, or maybe I play a few games and then I talk about a few. It's normally not going to be nine games that I talk about, but it is going to harken back to yeah, the time when I was, you know, maybe a little bit more negative, a little bit more critical, um, the fact that it's going to be, you know, as part of a Patreon perk, I just feel a little bit more comfortable, you know, talking about all of the games that I'm uh, playing. So it, that's an experiment that I'm trying out. As I said, there's one episode available. It's already out there for the patrons to listen to. So if you're interested in that, then go ahead and sign up for the Patreon campaign. And I'd certainly appreciate that. Uh, now, the next thing I want to talk about is some more changes to the Patreon campaign. Um, one of those involves a change to the videos that are voted on. Now, I sent a message about this out to the patrons already, so they know about this. But for a long time now, the patrons of the channel have been voting on two of the tutorials that I make each month. And the big change here is that from now on, they are actually going to be voting on playthrough with friends videos that will be happening each month. The idea is usually I'll be playing these with Anastasia or Nick, uh, maybe both of them or maybe neither of them, and I'll play some of these games with other people, perhaps guests coming in. Um, but the idea is that that is going to be the kind of video that the Patreon campaign is going to be voting for from this point on. And I know that's not going to make everyone happy. Uh, a lot of people prefer the old style tutorials, but a lot of people also do seem to be preferring the playthroughs. And I'll tell you that from my sanity perspective, I am loving making these playthrough with friends videos. It's a great mixture with my old tutorial style. Uh, and the plan right now is to continue making both of these. Um, the old tutorial style will certainly continue to happen as sponsored videos videos are happening. Um, so I will have a lot more variety with my workday, which is great, again, for my sanity. And also, I just am really enjoying the newness of making these playthroughs with friends and also just, you know, playing games with my friends. The editing process for those videos is significantly longer, I will say. Uh, I'm trying to figure out ways to bring that down, but I'm still really happy to be making those. So yeah, that's yet another change to the Patreon campaign. In fact, this moves us into another one of the updates, and it's a little bit more broad, and that's just Patreon campaign experiments that I would like to try. Um, the original plan was I was going to unveil a whole bunch of changes to the campaign right now at the start of November. But as October went on and I thought about this more and more, I became more and more uncertain with how exactly I wanted to make those changes. And so what I've decided to do is try some things and see what sticks over the course of this month. One of those things is the uh, the, the change to the Good Games vlog, obviously. Uh, right now I'm calling it uh, what I've been playing. <laughs> so that's a, a big new experiment that I'm trying out. Um, there are some other ideas that I have that um, I'd like to try to put out over this next month. I don't want to commit to anything. It's possible I might try a couple ideas and they just flop. So maybe the what I've been playing is going to be the main thing that you see over there. But I, I'm really hoping to uh, have some actual 
changes, concrete changes to the Patreon campaign that I can announce at the start of December. And I'm trying to be very vocal about it to all of the people who are supporting this channel and try to, you know, bring them into this, uh, this whole situation as well. Um, one of the uh, changes, that's right, uh, that I'd like to do is actually bringing in the patrons to the questions and answers situation. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A vlog like I normally do, but um, Anastasia actually had the great idea of of having uh, patrons actually ask specific questions that I could talk about as part of that overall live Q&A, but it doesn't have to be live. So uh, a few days before that Q&A happens, I'm planning on sending out a message to get some questions from the supporters of the channel, and then I can hopefully integrate those into the overall live Q&A. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially going to bring um, the updates to a close. I guess I could kind of uh, finish this off by saying that the uh, big changes that I announced at the beginning of the last month, uh, namely the playthrough with friends videos and also the spinoff podcast that I've been doing with Anastasia and Nick, um, that those have been going really well. Uh, I've been putting quite a bit of effort into those. Uh, the last episodes of each of those that went out was for Arc Nova, and I spent more time on that Arc Nova project than I have on any other video project I've ever made before, like period, in, in the eight, almost eight years I've been making this channel. And that was not sponsored. <laughs> so uh, October was a pretty crazy month, and I'm not complaining about that at all. I'm just figuring out how, ways to make this whole process quicker, but also the uh, amount of satisfaction I felt uh, putting out that video in particular was just very high, <laughs> very, very high. And so um, these things are really energizing me in a way that's uh, making me excited for how things are going in the future. Uh, so yeah, at this point, I think let's move into the shifting shelf. Uh, this is where I talk about new games that we've acquired into our collection as well as games that we have removed from the collection to hypothetically make room for the new games, but we still have way too many games in this house to fit them all on the shelves. Uh, now let's start with the games that are leaving. Uh, the first one is Blue Lagoon. This is a relatively abstract game designed by Reiner Knizia, uh, where you play over two uh, rounds where you're putting little canoes and people down uh, onto a variety of uh, islands, and there's some area majority, and there's other scoring type things going on. And this is a game that I've really enjoyed playing in the past, and I picked up this copy for $5 actually at a flea market. But um, Aristocracy has essentially fired it from my collection. Uh, that is also a Reiner Knizia title that I've been playing a bunch. In fact, I talk about that a decent amount in the What I've Been Playing um, exclusive uh, podcast podcast episode thing uh, for the patrons. So I don't really want to be repeating myself too much here, but um, there is a similar feel, obviously a similar, uh, the same designer for those games. And I like the, um, the position that aristocracy has uh, with my head as I'm actually playing that one versus the position my head is in when playing Blue Lagoon. In particular, there's no area majorities in aristocracy. So you don't have the analysis paralysis of, uh, or I guess not really paralysis, but just the analysis slog of counting up majorities over and over again in Blue Lagoon in Aristocracy. There's some significant differences between the two games, but I decided we didn't need both of those in the collection. Uh, the next game leaving is It's a Wonderful World. Um, this game is one that I've liked well enough. Uh, I've had it in the collection for a while. It's essentially an entry-level hand-drafting game. I actually got the um, Corruption and Ascension expansion to it, and I played with that once, and that was fine. It added some more variety to the game, but um, I actually played Bunny Kingdom this last week, and I, I talked about that one in the uh, Patreon podcast as well, um, and I just remembered how much I adore Bunny Kingdom, and so I'm planning on getting a copy of Bunny Kingdom, and I just don't think I need both of those games in the collection. I think I will 100% of the time rather play Bunny Kingdom versus It's a Wonderful World, and I feel like they have a pretty similar amount of rules uh, complexity for teaching those two games. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of swapping games out trying to make the collection just better overall. Uh, the next game going is The Red Cathedral. I only played that game once. I did a sponsored video for that one last year, and then I played it once after, and it was fine. I enjoyed that play well enough, but it didn't really light a fire in me like I was expecting it to, and I haven't found myself coming back to it. So I think it makes sense to move that one on. And lastly, there is Valor and Villainy Minions of Mordak. I made a sponsored video for this one, I think at the beginning of this year. So this is the copy that I used for that. And I've kept it all this time because I've been really curious to try it with other people. I don't really play ones versus many type games uh, all that often, but when I made the sponsored video for that one, I remember feeling like, this game's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I really liked a lot of the ideas that were going on there, so I've been saving it for the situation where I could actually play it with other people. But here we are, so many months later, it's a gigantic box, and honestly, we just don't play one versus many games that often, and I'm almost never playing games in person with other, with other people anyway. So I just don't see it happening. Uh, in a perfect world, I would like to try it and see what it's like with other people, but I just, I think other games are always going to be uh, higher up on the list. So I think it probably makes sense to move that one on, especially considering how large that box is. And honestly, I feel like that game is pretty darn cool. So if I can move it on to somebody who will actually 
actually enjoy it and actually play it instead of having it sit on my shelf uh, forever hoping to get played. I think that's probably a better situation. Uh, now, uh, four games have come into the collection over the course of the last month. Uh, the first one is Art Deco. Uh, that is a uh, release that's coming out, I think, soon-ish. I'm not sure the exact timing of it from Rio Grande. And they actually have me doing a sponsored tutorial for it. Um, I just filmed it yesterday and I just cleaned it off the table a couple of hours ago. This is a deck building style game where you are purchasing art and you're essentially speculating on this art because the cards in your hand are actual paintings. And when you play them, you get a monetary value for them that uh, actually goes up as more people actually invest in that type of art. So that means other people's actions will make your deck potentially better. So there's some shared incentives going on here, which is interesting because there's no stocks or anything like that. Um, that game looked pretty cool. And like I said, I finished filming that one yesterday and uh, I'm planning on putting the tutorial out for that next week, which I'll talk about soon in the schedule. Uh, the next game that arrived is Bad Company. And this arrived totally out of the blue. This is a new design from uh, Aporta Games. Uh, I believe the same designers as Santa Maria and um, Trials of Tucania. And um, I knew nothing about this game. I'd never heard about it before. And Aporta didn't let me know that they were going to send this over. So it was kind of a fun surprise. Uh, I've looked into it a little bit more. And I'm actually really interested in trying this game because it looks like it's another game in the uh, space space slash Machikoro slash uh, Valeria type game where you have a whole bunch of spots on your board in front of you for different die rolls. And then you roll dice and then activate things that you can uh, power up throughout the game. It seems like it looks very similar to space space at, uh, at a high up glance. And I quite like it like Space Base, but um, there's some different parts to this game from what I've seen in the overview. I think it might have even more control than some of these other games like Space Base and Valeria uh, and Machi Koro, so I'm pretty interested to bust that one out. Uh, the next game that arrived is Imperial Steam. Uh, that was sent to me by Capstone because I'm doing a sponsored tutorial for that one, and I'm planning on getting to that one next week as far as filming it, so I'm hoping to publish that one in a couple weeks, which again, I'll talk about in the schedule part that's coming up next. Uh, now, Imperial Steam is a heavyweight game that I've talked about extensively in a good games vlog a month or two ago. I really enjoyed that one and I've actually played it three times now. So I'm uh, quite looking forward to digging into making the tutorial for that. Uh, the last game that arrived is Small Islands. This one um, it was sent to me by Lucky Duck Games as a press copy to try out. And unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to try it just yet. It's a tile laying game where everybody's laying tiles in the same area and um, players can like end the round early, which could be kind of uh, disrupting to plans for other people. It's got some funky ideas that I'd really like to try. I just haven't had a chance to play it yet. Uh, well, that's going to be all the games that have come into the collection over the month. So now we can move to the last section, which is the upcoming schedule. Uh, now, I'm only going to talk about the next three weeks because we're already essentially a week into November here. Uh, and looking at week 45, I'm planning on putting out a tutorial for Art Deco, like I mentioned before. I'm also planning on putting out a teach-only video for Golem. Uh, this is something I maybe should have mentioned in the uh, the overall updates earlier on in this vlog. But um, for the first time ever, I made a teach-only video for Arc Nova. Um, and then I put out a full playthrough video as a separate video. Um, I think I'm probably going to do the same thing for Golem because Golem also has a bunch of rules. And that worked out pretty well with Arc Nova. It seemed like people really enjoyed seeing that teach only and then using that as a launching off point to go into the playthrough. In fact, I'm also planning on splitting up these two videos just like I did for Arc Nova. So um, in week 45, I'm planning on putting out a teach-only video for that one, and then also a sponsored tutorial for Legacies, which is in shrink right over there in my studio. I'm going to be cracking that one open next. Uh, and this is a uh, heavier weight Euro game about going through various generations, is my understanding of it. Um, the week after that, week 46, that's when I'm planning on putting out the um, playthrough with friends video for Golem. So hopefully there will be less time between the rules teach video and the actual playthrough with friends. Uh, with Arc Nova, there's about two weeks between those because of some logistical hiccups. But I'm hoping to have uh, these two be about five days apart, maybe up to seven. Uh, that week, I'm also planning on putting out the Imperial Steam tutorial. And also, that's when the live uh, Q&A is going to be happening. That is going to be on Thursday, the 11th of November at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so feel free to join into that. It'll probably be about an hour. And hypothetically, I will also be answering some Patreon uh, questions that have been sent over when that happens. Um, later that week, or potentially the next week, I'm not really sure, I'm planning on putting out a sponsored tutorial for Super Skill Pinball. Um, actually, it's the expansion to that one. There's a standalone expansion, which 
I, in this moment, I can't remember the name of the expansion, but this is a roll and write pinball style game uh, that I'm doing a sponsored tutorial for. Um, in week 47, I'm planning on putting out the next one of the playthrough with friends videos, and that one is going to be Anno 1800. Um, I should have mentioned this, but Golem and Anno 1800 appear to be the ones that are winning the poll. The poll isn't quite done yet, but it looks like those are going to be the winners. Uh, so I'm going to put that one out then. Um, maybe I'll split Anno 1800 up into a teach only and then the playthrough. I'm not sure if I'll do that. Uh, I'm kind of experimenting with all these things as time is going on. So maybe I'll split those two up. But either way, that's when uh, that one is hopefully uh, coming out. Uh, that week, I'm also planning on putting out a sponsored tutorial for Bequest, which is uh, sponsored by WizKids, just like the Super Skill Pinball. And if I'm being honest, I don't remember how Bequest went. I read all of the rules to it a few weeks ago and I said yes to doing the tutorial, but um, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, I've been playing so many games recently, but anyway, that is a video that's coming out in several weeks. And finally, um, the last video, hypothetically for the month, is going to be a Games Radar vlog. Uh, I'm really going to try to do those once a month, so I'm planning on doing uh, that one near the end of this month because it will have been about four weeks since I made the previous one of these. Um, scattered amongst all of these videos, I'm hoping to do some more of the Patreon exclusive uh, content that I talked about before, uh, specifically, you know, what uh, I've been playing. Hopefully, I'm playing games to actually talk about them as the month goes along. So, yeah, that's a snapshot of what I think the month of November is going to be like. Of course, a lot of these things could change as the month goes on. So yeah, that's going to bring this update vlog to a close. Uh, if you have any comments about any of the things I've talked about today, then please uh, leave them down below as comments. I do like uh, getting feedback like that. It would not surprise me if some people are not super happy with some of the changes that are happening, and I, I totally understand that. Uh, but, you know, the only constant is change. And I think, you know, constantly tweaking things and trying to make things better overall is, is something I need to strive for. And, you know, some of this experimentation, you know, some of it might not work. Some of it might work really well. Uh, I, I'm definitely hoping that the uh, what I've been playing exclusive content, talking about my impressions, is going to be a driver for the Patreon campaign because I, I do feel like uh, the Patreon campaign um, could have more support. I mean, I definitely appreciate the support that's there, but I'm hoping to add extra perks and extra incentives to make people more interested in directly supporting the channel. And I'm also hoping to just give more stuff back. I've been a little bit hands-off with the Patreon campaign all these six years or something that I've been doing it. And I'm going to try to give a little bit more attention and a little bit more content and all that kind of stuff. So um, we'll see how these experiments go. Uh, all right. I think that's going to bring this update vlog to a close. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos just like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.